Hello, I'm the CNC repairman. I recently went to a shop that had an issue with their super speed machine. The tool changer was banging every time they pressed the tool release button. I took it apart and found a few issues. Ethan and I went there to film it, and as service always goes, it took longer than expected and we only got some of it filmed, but I'm gonna show you the majority of it and I'm gonna show you the broken parts. To begin with, the issue was the drawbar ring on the top of the spindle where the drawbar bolts go into the drawbar were broken, and this part here was cracked. The reason it's cut off is because I tried to remove the bolts from the drawbar and found out they were broken. The main issue that caused this spindle drawbar ring to break was this solenoid assembly here. This precharged solenoid here applies the air pressure at around 30 psi out of this regulator. That pushes on the tool release piston, which then contacts the top of the drawbar ring, and then will fully unclamp the drawbar. They had an issue with their regulator and solenoid, which was causing the tool release piston to bang over and over onto their drawbar ring, which eventually blew it out. Now, some people say you have to replace your spindle, but that's not the case. CNC replacement parts sells a new drawbar ring, new bolts. They also sell a new solenoid assembly or a rebuild kit. So watch in this video here. I don't have every shot, but I have the majority of it. The first steps we did were power on the machine, zero return everything, and then pull the head cover off. After that, I turned the air pressure off and I removed the air line to the back of the spindle. You have to also remove the fitting that goes to the spindle. Then I jogged the spindle down, set it on a block, unbolted the spindle, and I raised the Z-axis. After that, the spindle was free. To remove the drawbar and the drawbar ring, I put the spindle in an H-frame press and depressed in the drawbar and tried to pull out the drawbar bolts. After I found the broken drawbar bolts, I removed the spindle coupling. To remove the spindle coupling, you're going to need a large rosebud torch. The one I used in this video wasn't great, but it did work. Apply heat to the end of the coupling while hanging the spindle upside down. Then use a puller and pull the coupling off of the spindle shaft. If your drawbar bolts are broken inside of the drawbar ring and still in the drawbar, you're going to need to remove the drawbar ring from the spindle. You can grind it off with a cutting wheel or it's just as easy to put it in a knee mill. Saw it almost down to the bottom and then just use a hammer and break it free. After that, it's pretty easy. Put in some type of punch in the bottom of the spindle and push out the drawbar. The assembly instructions go like this. To reassemble, put the drawbar inside the spindle. Slide the drawbar ring over the end of the spindle shaft and install the drawbar bolts inside of the drawbar ring and drawbar. Then heat up the spindle coupling to about 400 degrees and drop it onto the spindle shaft. Some spindles have a shoulder, others you'll need to measure a spacer, put in a spacer and drop the hot coupling onto the spindle. Let the spindle cool down and then reinstall the spindle the same way I removed it. After that, you're going to need to reset your spindle orientation and, in our case, reinstall the solenoid assembly for the super speed machine. The problem that caused all of this was the precharge being set incorrectly or faulty. Be sure to set your precharge to 30 psi for both gearbox and super speed machines. If your machine has through spindle coolant on a belt drive machine, set the precharge to 4 psi. After you reset your spindle orientation, home the machine, and verify you don't have any air leaks or any misalignment between the spindle and the motor, do a spindle run-in program. I hope you were able to follow along and understand everything in this video. Like any day in service, things get mixed up, phone calls, you get pulled to another machine. In any case, please check out CNC replacement parts for any tools, repair kits, or accessories that you need for your machine. Thanks for watching this video, and please stay tuned for more.